Tonight, NASA says it's still deciding whether to keep two astronauts at the International Space Station until early next year. Michael George shows us how the agency's reviewing issues with Boeing's Starliner and could potentially bring the spacecraft back to Earth without anyone on board. NASA and Boeing are working on a return plan for two astronauts stuck at the International Space Station. I know that, uh, that they're making the best of this time, but I'm sure they're eager for uh, a decision just like the rest of us. And liftoff of Starliner at Atlas V. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams lifted off on Boeing Starliner more than two months ago, set for an eight-day mission. Now less than three meters away from the International Space Station. But some of the thrusters for the capsule's reaction control system failed during its approach to the ISS. The main thing we're looking at is the propulsion system, and the kind of information we're getting is, uh, is there's a lot of folks out there that have worked with similar thrusters and have seen similar issues. CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood says safety is the main concern. The Boeing engineers think this vehicle is perfectly safe to come home, but again, uh, the engineers on the NASA side are trying to prove they understand what happened, and that's what's, that's what's really drawn this out. The astronauts could return on SpaceX's next flight, which wouldn't be until early next year. Yeah, you just so, sort of have to roll with it, and you sort of expect the unexpected. Butch Wilmore's family says they don't expect him back until February. They FaceTime several times a day and remain focused on the bright side. It is so cool. He gives us a lot of Earth views. I especially like um, seeing the sunset. NASA says it should be making a decision as soon as the end of next week. Michael George, CBS News, New York. And parking at the International Space Station is also tight. Boeing's capsule would have to leave before SpaceX's Dragon could dock there.